That's it. My orders have been rescinded. I am officially no go to space. I'm sorry, Howard. But I gotta tell you, I'm a little relieved you're not going. Why? Come on, you were gonna go up in a rocket designed in the 1960s by the Russians. Yeah, so? When was the last time you were at Best Buy and you heard someone say, Ooh, check out this Blu-ray player. It must be good. It was built in Russia. <laughs> well, their technology isn't that bad. When you come back to Earth in a Soyuz capsule, you free fall from space at 500 miles per hour. And the only thing that slows you down is a little parachute that pops out right before you crash into the ground. And the whole thing was designed by the same brilliant minds who are unable to capture Rocky and Bullwinkle. <laughs> All right, well, whatever. I wasn't worried. You weren't? Okay. Let me explain the difference between you and me. You watch Star Trek. I live it. <laughs> oh, please, I don't remember the episode of Star Trek where the guy never goes to space and brags about it in a tuxedo store. <laughs> Make all the jokes you want, but there's only one of us here brave enough to almost do what I almost did. Uh, much better. <laughs> you must be burning up. A little. But not more than your urethras will be after whatever's in those pants swims up them. Well, I cut quite the dashing yet hygienic figure, don't I? I look like the Flash about to get married. <laughs> oh, a tissue! A tissue! Oh, good lord! Uh, where's he going? He keeps emergency Purell in the car. Keys! 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 <laughs> 